Hi guys, welcome to fifth grade, chapter three, lesson six. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. For the purposes of ours, we are not gonna be drawing a picture, okay? We are going to be writing out our numbers and making sure we line up our decimals because it's just like adding decimals. We are subtracting now, but it's the same process, okay? So you line up your decimals, drop your decimal, and then subtract, okay? Five minus five is zero, four minus two is two, and zero minus zero is zero. That's your answer, okay? Okay, decimal down, okay? Two minus one is one, nine minus five is four, and zero minus zero is zero, okay? So you guys do four through nine, and finish those out, okay? We're gonna go down to number 10. It says Yelena made a training plan for 5.6 miles per day. So far she's run 3.1 miles today. How much further does she need to run? So we need to find the difference, which means we need to take that 5.6 and subtract 3.1, okay? So drop our decimal. Six minus one is five. Three, or sorry, five minus three is two. So two point five miles. Don't forget to label. Okay. Tim cut a two point three foot length of pipe from a pipe that was four point one feet long. How long is the remaining piece of pipe? Well, four point one minus two point three. Let's do it. Okay. Drop our decimal down. One cannot take away three. We need to borrow. Make that a three, make that an 11. 11 minus three is eight. Three minus two is one. 1 1.8 feet. Okay? All right. We're gonna go on to the back. You guys are gonna go ahead and take care of the lesson check yourself, just like always. We are gonna do the spiral review, okay? So spiral review says, what is the value of the underlying digit in 91 million? 764,350. Well, the cool thing about these is that all we have to do is drop down the number that it wants to know the value of, and then everything afterwards becomes a zero. So one, two, three, four, five zeros. Boom, 700,000. Okay. All right. How many zeros are in the product? of six times five times 10 to the third. Well, this one's gonna try and trick you because remember that three tells you how many zeros, but six times five is 30, which already ends in a zero, then you add your three zeros. 30,000 guys, okay? Evaluate the following expression. What step do you do first? Well, what step do you do first in PEMDAS? Parentheses, guys, parentheses, okay? So, we're going to make sure we have spelling parentheses correctly. Oh, it doesn't actually want you to write parentheses. It just wants you to write the 4 plus 6 in parentheses. That's it. Okay? All right. So, in the past two weeks, Sue earned $513 at her part-time job. She worked a total of 54 hours. About how much did Sue earn per hour? So, $513, 54 hours, okay? Well, I don't know my multiples of 54 off the top of my head, so I'm going to, no shit in my game, use my calculator for my multiples of 54. So, obviously, I have 54. Then I'm going to have 208. I can get that far on my own. Then I have 100, oh, sorry, 108, not 208, silly me. Then I have 162, okay? Then I have 216. Four hundred and. Whoa, that went fast. Okay, so hold on. 54 times 3, 162. 54 times 4, 
two sixteen. Fifty four times five, two seventy. Ah. Okay, fifty four times six is three twenty four. I'm going to go 54 times 8 and see what it gets me. That's 432. So 54 times 9 is 486. Okay, so 9 it is with 486. Now we're going to subtract, okay? 3 cannot take away 6. I need to borrow 1. Making that 13. 13 take away 6 is 7. 0 cannot take away 8, so I need to borrow. That makes that a 10. 10 minus 8 is 2. Okay? So now I can put in my decimal, which I'm going to bring straight up, and I can put a 0. Bring my 0 down. Well, that's 270, and 270 is right here with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? So which was 270. Okay, now we don't say that we earn $9.5 an hour. We say we earn $9.50 an hour per hour. Okay? All right. All right, guys, that was 3.6. Come back with 3.7 soon.